Hi there, it's Tracy Lazat here with more bird paintings. Once again, I'm painting cardinals. This time I'm painting a three piece series. I am painting a male cardinal, a female cardinal, and a nest with a couple of eggs in it. What's so unique about this three part collection that I'm working on is how they are all interchangeable. When I drew up of these paintings, I made sure that no matter what the combination that you put together, the branches fit together. So you could have one painting by itself, or you could put two together, or you could put three together. No matter what, they're gonna, they're gonna look like they flow together as one. I don't know what it is about creating collections where you can mix and match them, but I just love that extra um, kind of hidden little fun fact about my art is knowing that there's a way of mix and matching them. So in this video, you kind of get to see how I work up three paintings at the same time. You can see how after I drew all three, and by the way, that is the hardest part of my uh, watercolor paintings is the design. These designs are completely made up out of my head based off of things I've painted in the past. For example, I based the tree off of a birch tree. I didn't look at one, I didn't have one in front of me. Um, and uh, so I just kind of pulled from my memory. Same with the leaves, the shadows, the nests, the eggs. I've been painting cardinals my whole life, so I can pretty much paint them in any pose that I like. The challenge here was creating a composition that flowed from one painting to the next, no matter what combination you put together, which is why you keep seeing me trade off from one painting to the other. And I have to build up these three paintings at the same time to make sure the colors of the tree flow from one to the other. And um, also the birds on the outside have to flow together too. So I'm constantly mixing and matching and double checking to make sure all the shapes, colors, and values that they all flow together from one painting to the other. Uh, so it's kind of like a little extra challenge I give myself when I create paintings. Now the nest here, you've probably seen me do nests before, but if you haven't, the layering I did in between the paints is called masking fluid. Masking fluid is a, a rubbery substance that you paint on and you see me painting it on all three of these paintings and what happens when it dries, it dries to like a rubbery latex that I can rub off down the road. So it allows me to protect whatever color or shape I have underneath it. So I can protect the white of the paper or if I create a shape in, with a certain color and I want to paint over it but I don't want to lose the lighter value then the masking fluid will protect that. It's great stuff but it's also very, very tricky to use. If you want to learn my techniques both in setting up a drawing or creating uh, a watercolor painting the way I do, you can head on over to my website and check out my courses. I have a drawing course and a watercolor course available. Um, and if you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Oh, here is the female cardinal. Now, to my surprise, I just realized during the painting of this collection, this is the first time I've created the female cardinal all by herself. I've always painted her with the male. And I think it's about time she gets her own painting because she is, as far as female birds go, she is gorgeous. Um, both the male and the female cardinals are stunning if you get to see them in real life. And for those of you that know about the stories of a cardinal, there's a lot of meaning behind a cardinal because they represent a loved one, which is probably one of the reasons why they mean so much to me uh, to create paintings of them. They're kind of a little extra special. So as one layer dries, I move on and paint other layers in other areas of a watercolor. I like to build up my watercolors in a ton of layers, but I have to be patient and let one dry before I put another one on top or else I could turn everything to mud. Uh, it's kind of a tricky little dance you gotta do when painting with watercolors and you gotta know what color can go on another without uh, losing the shine of the paper and you definitely don't want to overwork a watercolor paper. I definitely push the boundary there. So I try to make as many layers as I can before I lose that bright, rich glow that you get from a watercolor because you can overdo it. You can overdo it and the only way of fixing it is to start over from scratch and that I've done before too. Uh, I like to go right to the edge, uh, right before the brink of overworking a watercolor and I'm getting kind of close with these three. It's about kind of that time where I got to do the finishing touches and call it good. 
If you like these paintings, there's a limited amount of prints available in my online shop. You can go check it out at tracylazatstudios.com. And here you go. You can see how you can put the two cardinals together or you can put all three together. And of course, you could just get one by itself. Lots of choices here.